Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So some of the industrial catalytic, uh, catalytic process I have given here. The process this is the industrial process and this catalyst used. In the Haber's process to the manufacture of ammonia, the reaction is nitrogen plus hydrogen gives NS3. So in this, the catalyst which is used is iron. This is, uh, this is something to boost up the activity of iron. We have seen this molybdenum. This is used as a promoter. And the condition is my 200 bar and the pressure is, this is my pressure and the temperature is pretty little high. That's 723 to 773 Kelvin. If you talk about the Ostwald process to manufacture of nitric acid, this is my reactions. And here asbestos, this is planetized asbestos is used. The temperature is 573. This is my catalyst. So if you talk about the contact process to manufacture sulfuric acid, these are my reactions. And here again, planetized asbestos or vanadium pentoxide is used. So if you see in most of the famous, these are a very, very famous industrial process to manufacture ammonia, nitric acid and sulfuric acid. In all these processes, if you see, catalyst is used. Because without catalyst, it's very difficult to prepare these chemicals. It, it will be very costly, but with this catalyst, it is really easy to prepare these chemicals and the cost is also less. Let's take some name, uh, numerical. The first one is why it is necessary to remove carbon monoxide when ammonia is obtained by Haber's process. See, if you talk about the Haber process, we take methane and we have this water, right? So methane and steam, this is steam actually. This is methane. Methane and steam, in the presence of air, we use a nickel uh, catalyst here. We give carbon monoxide and hydrogen. This is what is the reaction. Right? And the other reaction is again the same reaction happened. I have this methane can react with oxygen and this uh, nitrogen. This is all from air to give carbon monoxide and hydrogen and nitrogen back. This is the balanced reaction. Now you see in these two processes I am getting hydrogen and nitrogen. And these two things, nitrogen and hydrogen, actually react to form ammonia. This is the final step. Right? This is what we want. Nitrogen and hydrogen react to form ammonia. But from where do we get nitrogen and hydrogen? So we get this nitrogen and hydrogen by using this methane. So methane, in the presence of st steam also, in the presence of nickel catalyst, you get carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Again, this uh, methane, when you heat in the presence of air, so oxygen and nitrogen from air, again in the presence of catalyst only actually, right, nickel catalyst, you get this. Now if you see, what I want is these things, correct? So if I want these things more and more, I want to move this reaction on the left hand side. Right? So if I keep removing carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide from this reaction, the reaction will move on the left hand side, these two reactions, reaction one and reaction two. And thus more and more nitrogen and hydrogen is produced. Correct? And the and this this with this I get more and more. Correct. This is how it is done. Actually, the way it is removed is carbon monoxide is reacting with water in the presence of Fe2O3 to give hydrogen and carbon dioxide. This is the reaction. This is the mechanism used to remove carbon monoxide in the Haber's process. Because the more you remove carbon monoxide, the reaction will move in the forward direction and you get more of nitrogen and hydrogen. And this nitrogen and hydrogen is internally used to make ammonia. Thus, it is necessary to remove ammonia in the Haber's process. The next question is why ester hydrolysis is slow in the beginning and becomes faster after some time? So we have seen this actually. See this is an example of autocatalyst. See ester hydrolysis I have let's suppose some ester right I'll do hydrolysis I get H plus I get CH3COOH and C2H5OH. 
correct? If I'm doing a hydrolysis of ester, I'm getting this product. And if you see the catalyst I'm using is the H plus, but the product also I'm getting is the H plus, right? This acid. So in this case, at the reaction proceeds, you get more and more acid, and more and more acid is nothing but a catalyst. You're adding more and more catalyst. Since you're adding more and more catalyst, the reaction becomes fast. Correct. So this is the auto catalyst example where the product itself is a catalyst, and so the reaction proceeds in the forward direction. You get more and more catalyst, and that reaction becomes faster. What is the role of desorption in the process of catalysis? So we have seen that this is the surface. On this surface, let's suppose some complex is formed. Some complex, right? With this, you get a product. Now, desorption will actually remove this, this whole thing, from the surface, so that a new reactants, new reactant, can come to the surface, react, and form product. So the way the way role of desorption is very critical actually this process because this makes sure that the surface is available for other waiting reactants because the surface is small we use only small amount of catalyst not all the reactants will get opportunity to uh, or will not not all the reactants will get space in this uh, in this catalyst in one go right so one small some reactant will come it will get opportunity to uh, get space in this uh, Catalyst, they'll react, form product, and they have to be removed because the new reactants are waiting. So this desorption helps there. What role does adsorption plays in heterogeneous catalyst? See, all the reaction heterogeneous catalyst takes place on the surface, right? And on the surface, it has to be adsorbed. So adsorption plays a very very critical role, and it helps to form activated complex. We have seen that. Right, and these activated complex are a little unstable. It can easily break to form product. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.